Hey guys, welcome back to Wixfix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to add a search bar to your Wix website. Let's go ahead and get started. So here we have a nice little website, or I should say a very basic website. And what we want to do is allow our users to be able to search for things. So what we're gonna do is come up to add. We're gonna go down to menus and anchors, and we're gonna add site search to our website. So we're just gonna press this little plus icon. And it's going to add a page and it's going to add an element inside of our header. Now this element is covering our other elements for the shop and blog. But if we move it over, we're going to see that now we have a search bar and we also have a search page. But let's just go back to the home page, which is currently blank. We're just going to save and publish. And let's just go to our site and check it out real quick. So if I want to search up for a product, let's say product, we're going to see that it's offering a bunch of different items. So basically it shows our store products and it even shows blog posts. Now, if the user presses enter, it's gonna take us to the search page where as you can see, it's gonna show 12 products and one blog post and even three pages. So if we click over on pages, we're gonna see this. If we look at the blog post, it's gonna show this and the products, it's gonna show all the products with the word product inside of it. Another thing that I have set up on the website is a data collection for a team page, right? So what I want to do is see if it will search up for a specific person. So if I look up Brian Chung, it's gonna pull up his page. If I pull up the team, it's gonna offer up a team page. So if we click that, it's gonna take us to the team page right here. And let's just look up Harris, this guy's last name. So if we look up Harris, it's gonna show us or offer us to click on Marcus Harris. So it's pretty cool that it's showing items inside the database, showing stuff from our products and our website. It's also showing blog posts that we have written with these keywords inside of them. And just like any other Wix element, if we wanted to, we could just click on the element and obviously edit the design. They have several different templates for you to choose from, but you can easily just come in here, change the text, the fill color, the border, the corner radius, and even add a shadow. And if we come to the search results page, just like anything else, we can actually stretch this one to be the full width of the screen if we want, and we can add some margins to bring it in a little bit. And we can press settings to, again, edit the design to show what to display here and all of that kind of stuff. Now, if we look at display, we're going to see it has everything that we have created. So we have created our pages, our blog posts and our products. And for our pages, that's also including our dynamic pages from our database for our team. But then we can also go down to layout and we can change the way that menu sits right here. So we can have the menu be on the left, right, center, and the page navigation, we can also have it set to left, right, or middle. If we go down to design, once again, we can change the search bar. We can change the result menu, which is this right here. We can change the search results, which are these right down here. And then the buttons we can also change as well. But that basically wraps it up for the video today, guys. If you guys did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and consider subscribing for more Wix content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I'll see you all in the next one.